please welcome in. He was on our last Night of Hope music series. He's been on the last several of them, actually. He will be on Red's Room next week with uh, his full band. He's here as a fill-in tonight. We're so grateful to have him here. He's a frequent performer here on Red's Room. Please welcome the great Ron Gesh to the program, to the Red's Room stage. Ron, good evening. How are you? Hey, hi, Joel. Good, and good. Fantastic to have you here tonight. Uh, tell us what's new, what's uh, musically on the horizon here as we continue to move through the first few months of 2022. How's things been treating you so far? So far, pretty good, I think. Yeah. Uh, I'm working on a new song called Alpha and Omega. I hope to get that posted in the next uh, week or two, if possible. I'm almost done with it. And uh, I, I do work with Glory Road. That's our band's name. Uh, we, we sometimes lead worship on a Thursday morning service, and we used to do Wednesday nights too. So that's what I've been doing, the Thursday morning service with my buddy John and Brian, who aren't here today, but they were here this morning. We practiced this morning for next, next Saturday. So we hope, to, uh, we hope to have a nice program next week for you too. Fantastic. Well, it's great having you here. You've got several numbers you're going to perform for us. Tell us about the first one you've got for us here tonight to share, Ron. Well, the first song is uh, called I Need You. Uh, I, wrote, I wrote this, I think, in 2017. And I think our, it's th these are all out on uh, all um, several of the major platforms. But I do have a, a YouTube of this. It's one of my first try at YouTube, I think, with that, with that one for myself. Uh, I used to do some for Glory Road. We're, we're on YouTube as Glory Road Band, but I'm just on there as Ron Gesh. And so I wrote this back in 2017 and I remixed it a little bit, 2018. And it's called, I Need You. Oh, yeah. 
Ron Gish here on Red's Room. Nice to have everyone with us here tonight. Uh, Glendal, yes, how's everyone doing? He's uh, there on the comments on Facebook tonight. Um, Emily, good evening. How are you? Nice to see you. Uh, concert number 123, a huge blessing, says Nathaniel. Uh, uh, glad to be here. It will be a fun night. Yes, it will indeed. Ron, you're a prolific songwriter down where you are. What is the usual advice that you would give for songwriters who are looking to make an impact where they are and uh, continue to refine their craft where God has them? Well, for me, I, I listen to different artists out there and they give me ideas. Um, but what I usually do is I pray about stuff and I look for verses in the Bible that I feel are going to kind of coordinate with the type of uh, song I'm writing. Um, mostly I get a tune in my head first and then I'll, I'll find some words either out of the Bible or just anywhere. Get ideas, like I said, from other artists, and then I put something together myself. I, I have kind of a 60s song because that's kind of what I used to play a lot. And I guess the best thing is to pray about it when you're writing the song and ask God for uh, direction as to how you want to present the words with a song. Um, no matter what the tempo is, you just want to come up with something that will touch people's hearts and I mean, that's what we're here for, to touch people's hearts, minister to them, minister life to people that are hurting, and uh, hopefully bring them toward, towards a walk with the Lord. Amen to that. That is certainly what, uh, what matters there. Ron Gesh is here with us on an all-new kicking off a Saturday night East Coast edition of Red's Room. Ron, what's the next number you got for us here tonight? Okay, this, is, uh, uh, this song here is... Uh, <coughs> My brother wrote a poem many years ago, and he since passed away. And I found this poem in my mom's Bible after she passed away. <laughs> so I um, decided I was going to try and write a write a song that would go with with his poem. So I'm going to try and do this to a track here. If we can get it going. And um, it's, called, it's called His Name. I think I wrote this back in uh, 20, I don't remember. It was a while ago, but I revised it in 21. So anyway, His Name, yeah. I just started 
a song for next Saturday playing first. That was uh, that was my mistake. That is Rod Gesh here on Red's Room here tonight. <laughs> Got through it. <laughs> Ron is here with us. What sort of uh, influences, Ron, have helped shape your music? Who would you say influence-wise has helped shape your sound and who you are? Have you had any favorites over the years? Uh, well, we're not all Christian artists. Um, a lot of them, I think, because I used to play in rock and roll bands over in Iceland and Scotland. I liked uh, a lot of, I like Eric Clapton. I like um, uh, Rory Orbison. Okay. All right. And, um, the Beach Boys. And um, they influenced me quite a bit, I would say. Um, there's probably a few others, but I can't think of them right offhand, Joe. Put me on the spot. Ron Gesh is here with us here tonight on Red's Room. Any live performances you're uh, starting back up now here in the 2022 so far, or mainly just virtual ones uh, at the start here? Well, mostly what I've been doing is, like I said, the, the Thursday morning service with John and Brian. We, we lead worship there. Uh, but we used to go out and do um, open mic sessions. And we also used to go to nursing homes and play for some of the folks there. Oh, well, there you go. And, uh, yeah, we did that quite a bit. Brian and I together, uh, he's a keyboard artist. Um, we did a lot of the nursing homes together. And then COVID hit, so we stopped doing that. But uh, since COVID, I really haven't done too much other than the Thursday morning service for live. Everything else has been either recorded or uh, on Red's Room which is a nice outlet right here. Yes, it is indeed. Third number for us. Uh, what you got there tonight for us, Iran? Well, this song everybody knows is taken from Matthew 6, 9 through 13. Uh, the Lord's Prayer. Um, or some people refer to it as Our Father. So, yeah, the Lord's Prayer. Amen.
Yes, sir. Excellently done. The Lord's Prayer into song. Always enjoy that, uh, giving people some hope and encouragement as we always are doing here on Red's Room. One concert at a time, we're doing just that. We are praising God. <clears throat> When you sit down to write new music and new songs, what are some of the sources of inspiration for you? Is it like the Lord's Prayer right there? Is it partially out of scripture like in Matthew there? Or is it uh, partly real life experiences? Is it a little bit of a mixture of both for you? Yeah, I'd say it's a mixture of both. Um, I always try and look for something in scripture if I can in, in my song songs that I write. I, most of them anyway. I try to put some kind of a piece of scripture in there, a reference to, and... Um, but some of it comes from real experiences, like this song I'm going to do now. It takes me back, takes me back to when I was living at home before I got married a hundred years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Only a hundred? Oh wow! <laughs> well, 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 how does that make you now, Ron? <laughs> <laughs> I can hardly remember. I mean, before before I was married, <laughs> it's been so long. But uh, we've, we've been doing okay. <laughs> so, but this song takes me back a little bit. And um, I always like to have the 60s, 50s influence in my music because that's, that's where I'm at with, it, with what I write and what, what I do, I think. It, uh, it's a comfort to me, and I hope it's a comfort to, to others that enjoy that venue of music. So, yeah, this is called uh, Never Thought I'd See. I wrote this in 2016, and all these songs are out on uh, rongesh.com if you, if you want to hear the, the better versions of them with backing and other tracks and music. So, yeah, never thought I'd see. Ron Gesh, never thought I'd see right here on Red's Room. Met some friends who live by me, told them we could be set free. With my back to the wall, drop down to my knees. Said a prayer in deep despair, asked the Lord. That's the day I never thought I'd see. Lift your heads, O ye gates, and be lifted 
hope everlasting doors for the King of glory rescued me for the King of glory rescued me My cat walked in on me and I distracted her for a minute. <laughs> no worries at all there. Over my chair. <laughs> he kind of made himself at home, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> he comes in while I'm practicing or writing a song and he'll sit down there and just be next to me while I'm, I guess maybe it's soothing to his ears to hear the guitar <laughs> or something or the keyboard or whatever. Who is that furry friend you got down there? His name is um, Snuggy. Snuggy. Yeah. Ah, oh, I love it. <laughs> he's, he's just sitting in my chair like he owns it, like he owns the whole house. <laughs> I, yeah, my, my, I have a dog that's named Snuggles. Okay. So, <laughs> but you know, it now did now did he get the same name as mine did? Because mine, when it was real little, had a penchant for snuggling, and well, so the name just sort of yeah, stuck. You know, that's funny because we found him on Pet Finder on the internet, and he was I think five or six years old, and he's twelve now. But he's a rescue, and his name was Snuggle. And I thought, how do you call a cat Snuggle? <laughs> Snuggles, yeah, I could see that, but Snuggle. So I said, no, that's not going to be his name. We're going to call him Snuggy. And uh, he's got two or three, two or three names that we call him. So oh, he fantastic. seems to respond to a lot of them. But Snuggle, Snuggy is his name. <laughs> now I'm confused. I kind of messed you up a little bit there, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> How old is your dog? How old is the dog? Uh, one, a little over one now. Oh, one, okay, nice, like nice. one and a quarter. Yeah. Nice. What kind is it? Uh, German Shepherd Lab mix. Ooh, nice, nice. Yeah, the, the mom is a purebred German Shepherd, and the dad is like a Lab Husky oh, mix. Wow. So, That's and there funny. you have, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, both of them together. There you go. Yeah great having you with us here tonight ron for those who want to continue following your musical journey tell us where we can connect up with you and find out uh, more about you and your music online oh well the main uh, main website would be rongesh.com and uh you can find me on all the major platforms there's one or two of my songs three or songs or four uh, spotify itunes um whatever they all are they're out there and I'm on them. I, I'm actually on Reverb Nation. So reverbnation.com forward slash Ron Gesh. Um, when I, when I want to post a song or release a song, as they say, I usually use the tools on Reverb Nation to do that. And then they go ahead and place everything out on all the platforms for me. And there's like a, a annual fee once a year to, uh, to part, you know, participate with Reverb Nation. So, so far, it's been working out really good for me. I, I've enjoyed using it. And yeah, Red says he, he thinks Reverb Nation is where he thinks he might have ran India and found you there. So, yeah. yeah. In fact, I got him as one of my like go tos off of my website. Go to Red's, Red, Red. He's on there. Aaron, I think I got Aaron on there too, Aaron Vaughn Graham. Yeah. And uh, yeah, those are a couple of good ones. And then I got a friend of mine, I think Nick um, Sherwin. He's out in California. He's a college professor and he does all kinds of music. He's influenced me somewhat too with some of the songs that I've written. Um, in fact, I borrowed a few ideas from Nick and asked him, is it okay? And we did, we collaborated on one song together, but we, uh, he's let me use some of his ideas and then I turn them into my ideas and turn them around, twist them a little bit. But uh, it's, uh, it's pretty good. A place to meet other Christian artists and all kinds of artists actually in Reverb Nation. So if you if you're interested in it, if you're a musician, you should check out ReverbNation.com. Indeed, Ron, it's been an absolute pleasure having you with us. Uh, not only for Red Room tonight, but it's been great having you on our Night of Hope shows here. The last few of them as well. It's great featuring your music uh, on our radio shows and Night of Hope. It's been great having you on here once again as a frequent contributor here on Red's Room, and of course. Uh, we look to seeing you here on Red's Room again next week. It's great having you here, Ron. Thank you for being here tonight, kicking off our uh, Saturday night here on Red's Room. 